<laughs> we made it! <laughs> him this Christmas. Oh, I need it on my lower back. Let's put it on my lower back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Control. I also gave him this for Christmas as well, like probably three years ago. My dad's room is the coolest. Okay, now I'm on my way to Chubby's and I know I said Orlando a lot because most people don't know Kissimmee. Um, so, I'm in Kissimmee and I'm driving back, uh, well not driving back, I'm driving by so many areas that are so changed. Like there's this road that was not here before. Like this road wasn't here. And I'm almost by my high school, so it's scaring me all the nostalgia like all of it like i'm just like dang so i'm just changed around this area after high school i literally packed my bags well i did hair school and then packed my bags and moved right back to new york i was just like i didn't want to be around this area just didn't feel at home for me even though i did grow up in Kissimmee, it just for me it wasn't home my home was New York. That's where like all my family was still at. Yes, I had my father and my some of my siblings here in Kissimmee that I grew up with, but 
majority of my family was in New York. So even though I grew up here, it just, it just didn't feel like home to me. So, but it's just funny how it all circles back where I'm like, my dad still lives in Kissimmee. So I come here a lot to see him. I live in West Palm. I've kind of lived in a couple of places since I've lived here and I wind up coming right back to Florida but now I'm in West Palm and West Palm feels more like home even though I don't know if it's gonna be uh, like for everything but for now it is home and I love it because I'm by the beach and I love the beach so I'm gonna make, make sure I don't get lost but yeah it's just giving me all the feels like this is the block that I would hang up, hang out on. Like, I remember walking to this little store. I guess it's like a school now. And it used to be a store. I remember they had like pizza. And this is a skating ring. Oh my God, we're passing by the skating ring. Um, Friday nights, once a month, was lit. <laughs> I remember we used to have like teen night at the Skate Reflection. And that was it. I'm about to drop. Not drop. What? I'm about to pass by my second job ever. Like, I was at that company. I opened up the, this, this location. And I was there for about five years. From, like, I was, like, I think I was, I had started my senior year. Like, I had applied junior year. But I didn't turn 18 until my senior year. So then I started working. I, it was, like, right after my birthday, too. I started working. And I got the job and I was working there for five years. We're about to pass it. We're about to pass it. I'll show you guys. So we're at the green light, but I'm not going. I'm trying to get hit. So this street is Vine Street. If you're around this area, you know where I'm at. I'm on 192. And this is where I used to work. I used to work at Wing House. I had the cute little cheerleader outfits. Oh my goodness, everything used to change. Like so much changed. It's crazy how much a lot of things has changed and like a lot of things are no longer what they used to be and there's so much more construction, more buildings, more, just, it's just so different. And I'm honestly so glad I moved from Kissimmee. I am so glad I moved from here. Cause this just ain't it. Even though I don't get to see my family as often, this just, I need to be around the water. I need to be by the beach. I need to be around things that like I love to do. And this area is just not it for me. I am glad that, you know, I grew up where I grew up because if I would have grew up in the Bronx, I probably would have had more of a difficult time growing up. And I'm blessed and thankful for everything that I have learned throughout my youth living here in Kissimmee and all the friends I've made I'm thankful for that you know thankful for the opportunities that brought me to where I am now but that was a chapter in my life that is closed and I'm glad it closed we made it and I made it at the same time she got home <laughs> oh, oh I'm back my body. Oh. Oh. She just got off of work, so she in her work uniform. Let's, let's see what her work uniform look like. <laughs> they want to see what your work uniform look like. <laughs> we made it! <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these babies. Oh, let's put them on. They're so cute. Oh, yeah, seven and a half is perfect. The seven and a half is perfect. Look how cute these are. They're so cute. <laughs> Oh, 
So yeah, the seven and a half like feels so comfortable. And how cute are these? They're so freaking cute. Where we go? We're going on a hiking trip. We're going on a hiking trip. They're so cute. We need better lighting. Yeah, but if I wore these to work, my feet would be soaked the whole day at work. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, my body. Whew. Chuby is taking me to High Tide Harry's for dollar sushi. Huh? What airline is that? Oh, that's the one that you were telling me and Amanda about. Oh, we can't even zoom. I'll zoom in and the editing app. <laughs> but we're about to get some dollar oysters and some other stuff. Oh, I thought this was dangerous. I'm about to run into Juby. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am so tired. I just dropped Juby off. We had dinner. As you saw, we went to High Tide. Um, and we were just in Gopton, you know, talking and catching up and enjoying food that I just didn't even care to vlog but we wind up getting um peel and eat shrimp we got some oysters because it was dollar oysters they were so good um she got some crawfish sadly right now with my braces I really can't eat crabs as much as I wanted to eat crabs so I just got me a chicken Caesar salad because right now I've just been on a chicken Caesar binge where I just that's what I'm craving. I've been craving that, so that's what I ate. And I have leftovers, so <laughs> on my ride, I'll probably continue eating that. Right now, I'm going to my dad to take like a 30 minute nap before I do this two hour ride back home. Because if I leave right now, it's a high chance that I'll fall asleep on the road. Because I am so tired, yo, this hair is looking crazy. This face is looking crazy. I need a nap. I am so tired. So yeah, that's what we're gonna go do. We're gonna go see my dad and take a nap. I passed out cold at my dad's. I got here and literally passed out. Now I have to drive home. Bye, father. Oh, short time. See you later, alligator. <laughs> I am finally five, oh, five minutes, eight minutes away from home. I am so glad I took that nap at my dad's house because I would have uh, not made it during this trip back home. Like, I passed out at my dad's house. Like, I don't know if you guys, I was kind of whispering in the videos, so I don't know if you guys heard me, but I literally passed out cold turkey. Like, as soon as I laid on his couch, I passed out. I was so tired. So I'm glad I took that nap. It just sucks because I didn't really get to spend time with him because I literally just passed out. And I put my alarm clock for like 30 minutes. I literally fell asleep for like 50 minutes. And I was like, oh crap, now I have to leave. So I didn't really get a chance to hang out with my dad for a little bit, but it's okay. He's happy 
that I even went over there and just took a nap. <laughs> I know this vlog is not a very eventful vlog because I was just on the road a lot of the time. I know you guys saw Chubby real quick and then we went out to lunch and it was just kind of like a long day on the road. Literally a long day on the road. And now I'm like, I'm awake. But I'm going to have to maybe take some melatonin tonight to help me go back to sleep because that nap woke me up. And I'm so glad I had like leftover Caesar salad from dinner because I ate that on the road as well. And I was listening to a podcast on my whole, whole way home. Um, if you're interested in listening to any podcast, Amala on YouTube, I love her podcast. She's very educated, very well-spoken, and everything she speaks on is just, I love it. I love it. It makes you, like, really think about everything. And I think she's just amazing. So if you're interested in like a good podcast, definitely check her YouTube out. Um, she does a lot of live videos and they're usually like an hour, an hour and a half long. So it just was perfect for me for this ride home. But yeah, I'm almost home. I'm almost home. It's my baby. It's my baby. It's a little bit of love. <laughs>